Oh yeah. What do we got? It's that time of the month. Best time of the month. It's my favorite time of the month. It's okay. your time of the month. Wait, what? We've got Butcher Box. Bonds was a big fan of Butcher Box. Slayman, where's he at? He's missing the best one. The girls. Plural? Yes. What a beast. What's going on, folks? Welcome back to this episode of Fishman Flare. Today, we've actually got a pretty special day planned. Today, we've got a special day planned. Yes, that, that, that did come out correctly. One, because we got a new butcher box. Two, because I'm buying a new puppy. Two very important things going on in my life right now. First things first, we got to eat some lunch. Before we go down to the farm, Bonzo's a hardworking kid, right? You need, to, you need, need food. You need that protein. Yeah, true. You need, you need that protein prior to going to the farm. That way, you can just be swole while you're down there. Isn't that right, Junior? Yes. Why'd you shake your head no when you said yes? That was awkward. Anyways, are you excited for the puppy? It's a big deal. Oh yeah. This is like, this is like too much responsibility for me. I don't know how I'm gonna handle this. I mean, Finn's still alive, so I feel Finn's like not. Finn's not dead. Doing a good job. Finn's not dead yet. Yeah. That's true. I do have another dog named Finn. He's a little golden doodle. He's not dead, so that's good. But we're buying another dog, and this one is gonna be Riggs' girlfriend. Riggs, the farm dog, the big dog. He's like a Swiss slash Bernese mountain dog that lives down kind of at the farm a good amount of the time. Basically, he just hangs out at the farm. You guys have seen him in previous farm vlogs. Well, we're getting him a girlfriend. But first, we gotta cook some food. So, Bonzo, you wanna do a quick unboxing? Ooh, show me the good, yeah, bacon. This is the best bacon I've ever had. It is the best it's bacon so ever. Good. It is hands down the best bacon. Yeah, what do we got, Ooh, steaks? Ooh, ribeyes. Ooh, good. ribeyes, okay. What else we got? Oh. Beef tips. Beef tips, that'll be really I've never good. had those, like, from, really I've never good. actually had those before, yeah. so that'll be good. John, we got chicken for you. Sweet. Chicken tenderloin. Wow, that was some good excitement from you. What else do we have? Ooh, sea, sea scallops. scallops. Have you ever had scallops? I've had them, but I've never cooked them. But I really like them. You ever had scallops? I'll be honest, I don't even know what they are. are. Are they like clams? Yeah, like, well, like, kinda. Like when, so these don't have the shell. When you, I've seen them cook, they're like black shells. They're like, yeah. they look like little, I feel like they're hard to cook, but we'll find out. I feel like. I think that's what we gotta do. Maybe that's the challenge for the day. Yeah. Some scallops. So you've never actually had scallops. I, I don't even know what they are, honestly. So. It, it's like, a, you'll, fig, you'll like, find out. Are they out. in nature like this? They're just floating around no, the water like that? No, they have, no, they they have, have a shell. shell. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. They're a black shell. It's a, it's a black, black shell. shell. It's like a black clam, like a small guy. So we're gonna, we're gonna give those a taste. That's what else we got. Baby back ribs. Ooh. I had these without you a couple weeks ago. The last bro, box. Why? why? You were you were out of town. Bro, you were in Africa. They're so bro. good. Bro, they're so good. Really? Yeah. And I'm actually excited for them. I've never cooked scallops before in my entire life. I think they're gonna be good. I've I've heard they're like I've heard they're kind of hard to to be good. Like sometimes they can be chewy. So we're gonna put it to the test. We're gonna put our skills to the test. But if you guys at home wanna try Butcher Box for yourself, all you gotta do is click the link down below and new members get one pound of scallops for free as well as one pack of bacon and $20 off your first box. So if you're new, if you have not tried it, Go click the link down below. You get delicious meat sent to your doorstep every single month. You guys know me. I love meat in my mouth. This is one of my favorite things. It's like it's like my it's like Christmas. Christmas. Every, every month. Every month. You get delicious food. And you get stuff like scallops. Crazy. So, like I said, go click the link down below. Go sign yourself up. We're ready for the the sea scallops. Right, right. Wild caught, sustainably harvested in cold waters of George's bank. All natural, no chemicals, no water added. Are you gonna deep fat fry these? No. Those are way too good to do that. You gotta I'm like, I'm, I'm telling you, we gotta get our show. You have an apron you just put on? We need like an apron to put on or something. This is like a big moment right here. Oh, yeah, I was joking about the oh, apron. Yeah. What does that say? Bon Zaddy's Catch and Cook Company. My brother gave me it for my 21st birthday. There's a duck, there's a beaver, there's a frog, and there's a fish. Why, do, why isn't that a t-shirt? We need Should to make be. that a t-shirt. If you guys want it to be a t-shirt, let me know in the comment section down below because I feel like that logo is freaking sick. Anyways, um, don't you just turn this thing on high, throw some butter in it, and call it good or something? And then uh, olive oil. To olive oil. Make it taste good. Really? Yeah. Oh, and then we're going to put salt and pepper on both sides. Oh, okay. Great. You seem like you know what you're doing here. Yeah. I'm going to let I you, mean, let you yeah, do this. We this, got is this. A you, this, is a bon this is a bonzo moment here. We're going to let him do this thing. Boom. It smell pretty good. I mean, good. I feel like no matter what you cook, if you just like soak it in butter like we did, it can't be bad. But this was, we just Googled it very quickly just to make sure we didn't mess it up. Um, essentially what we did was we put like a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of butter in the pan and then like a tablespoon of olive oil. The olive oil is keeps the butter from burning. The butter is what gives you the flavor. And then we put salt and pepper on both sides, threw it in there for a minute on one side, 
minute on the other on high heat, took them off, threw a little bit more salt and pepper, and then drizzled the olive oil and butter over the top. I feel like they're gonna be good. It looks really good. I'm feeling, I'm feeling confident about your, your chef skills today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dig in here. Mm-hmm, that's really good. John, you're gonna love it. Dude, that is good. That's like perfect. It's not like chewy. There you go. Wow. That's good. Just like crab. Dude, that's good. That's so easy to cook too. Yeah. I thought they were gonna be like hard and mm -hmm. like we'd mess it up, but. You did good, man. Well, there you have it, folks. John had it for the first time, loved it. I loved it, Bonzo loved it. Like, we're not kidding. Like, that's honestly like, I've, been, I've had scallops maybe six times in my entire life. I would say Bonzo scallop cooking skills probably took maybe third or second place. I've probably had scallops maybe better one time maybe, but these are freaking absolutely fire. So if you guys get butcher box and get some scallops, follow the recipe that we did, which was just simple butter, olive oil, salt, pepper, pan on high, minute on each side, and you're good to go. Anyways, remember, if you guys want to sign up for Butcher Box for yourself, go click the link down below, get $20 off your first box, get free scallops, get free bacon, and get delicious meat delivered to your doorstep every single month. Anyways, we're headed to the farm today. We got to go down to the farm, we got to take care of some business, and then later, we're buying Riggs, a girlfriend. You guys stay tuned. Feeling good about life? Oh God, yeah. You ready to conquer the day? Yes, sir. Bonzo's ready to conquer the day. It feels like we did this yesterday. Yeah. It's because we did. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we did do this yesterday. Well, folks, we came down here yesterday pretty much just to do a couple chores. And this was kind of going to be, we, we basically were just kind of documenting the last couple days. And then we've got something big and important that's happening today. I'm buying a puppy today. We're going to go pick her up here this afternoon. She's not ready yet. And uh, she's going to be a farm dog. But yesterday we came down here and cleaned out the ducks trailer. We've got a big decoy trailer that has a ducks wrap on it or whatever. And it was a complete mess. And we cleaned it out and it was a dope time lapse. Roll the clip of cleaning out the ducks trailer. So now it looks like this. This is where everything, it's like all back and around. We've got a big pile of junk. This is kind of like our little, our little corner here. Well, my house that got burned down is, uh, well, it's starting to get a little bit more dry. I think probably by the end of fall, it should be dry enough to kind of do something, which perfect time, that's winter, and then you can't do any projects. I know, perfect timing. The flood kind of botched everything. We need to go check on the duck blinds though. So one thing that we don't know, because the, basically the whole, time that this flood has happened we have not been able to check on the duck blinds the duck blinds have been pretty much just underwater but the water is the lowest it's been in probably i bet it was probably this low do you think back in maybe may or april when the flood started? basically when the flood started before the flood it's been this low <laughs> uh so we're gonna go check on that now and go see if we can maybe rescue the duck blinds because i bought two brand they weren't brand new but i bought two duck blinds uh last year and we only got to use them one year and uh, i don't know they may not even be there i, I think they're usable you but think they're usable. I don't know if we're going to be able to get them out. True. So. Yeah, I don't know how we get them out. Yeah, I don't know. We also have ice eaters that we need to rescue. Yeah. Did you bring the snorkel? Yeah, we need jigging. We need jigging with Jordan. We need the water dragons. The water dragons, if you're watching this, come to my farm and help me rescue the freaking duck blinds and the ice eaters. They're basically in like eight feet of water right now. We'll probably, I think I had the idea of a magnet. Yeah. You could use a magnet to find to them, find right? It, and then, I think and then somebody's going to have to scuba dive. But anyways, let's go, uh, let's go check on the duck blinds. You guys stay tuned. <laughs> Loading her up, eh? Oh gosh. You never know what we're gonna see. Might see a yacht ski. I think the yacht the yotes like hanging out over here. Yeah, maybe a frog. Maybe a frog. You might just for some reason eat one. <laughs> yeah. No, raw? Ooh. Should we do a frog sushi mm. eating contest? I don't like sushi. Mm. You're not feeling it? I feel like I feel like that'd be a good vlog, no? I don't like sushi. You don't like perfect. You don't like sushi in general? I, don't I like my meat cooked. I don't yeah. like raw. Sushi. Bro, cooked, yeah, but cooked sushi. Cooked sushi. Okay. Cooked sushi's okay, but yeah, I don't like raw. Yeah, because raw sushi. sushi's like called shashami or something. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't like that. Gosh, that stuff is wild. Right? Sashami is not what it's called or something? I don't know. It's something well, why like that. Why are you that. asking him? Yeah, is it because Bro, I was asking everybody. What is that supposed to mean? All right, we got the gun. We are off. Probably shouldn't shoot a cow with a 22, though. Unless you're, unless you're a sniper, maybe. But yeah. anyways, we got the 22 just in case you ever see any things that need to be taken care of just for protection mainly Bonzo everything's after him he's just a little snack you know the old flare b and b dude we could almost get we could almost pull her out yeah we want to pull we want to pull her out and go take her to the, the new property over there down yonder and we can pretty much almost take the new camper to the new property but this is crazy how dry like it's actually yeah it, i hadn't seen this ground in a really long time 
Yeah, very. <laughs> I'm afraid we're gonna hit a hole. Oh yeah, we're... Oh god. Dude, this is gonna be insane hunting. Hold up. Look at this. Oh god. Look at this. Oh my good. Dude, look at what we just ran through. This is all supposed to be a cornfield, but look at this flooded corn. That is this is like crazy. a perfect little slough for a for a teal to come in. I mean, in. mallards, everything will love this. Dude, this... literally just put a blind right here. And look, sitting here. And look how much like cover you have. Yeah. Like they would never see you. This is the ground right here. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like you could jump out. This is just this is it's almost dry ground. That's not gonna be deep. Like Dude, we might have just found an epic teal hunting spot. This is Dude. crazy. That's the one good thing about the flood is the duck hunting should be absolutely insane this year. But this is like, this is literally a perfect slough. Throw some decoys, some flashers, and a sh boom. Bro, what kind of poop is that? That's some big poop. You see that? It's gonna be like a coyote. What the hell is out here just laying bombs on the blind like that, that man? Turd? Bro, that's a big turd. Well, we made it to the blind. It's um, well, it's looked better. Oh. You jumping out? Oh. How deep is she? Oh, I haven't hit bottom yet. Like on a tree. Oh, you got it. You're fine. I don't know how you get this thing out, though. That's the problem. Like, you can get to it, but I don't know how you get it out of this area. I mean, this isn't... Well, we're not going to want to hunt this. This looks like booty... This looks like booty cheeks. We're going to want to hunt all the... At least for early teal. Can we just turn it around? <laughs> yeah, true. Honestly. We should just turn it around and just shoot the right here, honestly. And then we've got another blind that's way down yonder. But, well, we found them. We got to them. Still here. But... They're in one piece. They're not, yeah, they're in one piece. And then the ice we're talking about are somewhere down yonder about 10 feet deep, so. But anyways, we're just out here kind of scouting, getting prepped for duck season. I don't know if we're gonna be able to use these blinds. I think we're gonna have to kind of either buy some new ones or just kind of makeshift some of our own or just not use a blind and just stand there in the reeds and shoot birds, I don't know. I think there's a pond over there. So, there is too. Like, so let's go, let's go look for, I think there's a pond over there that we should go look at. Cause that was a juicy spot that we found last year that didn't, we didn't even actually hunt. And then there is another spot on the other side there that I think is another pond. I think that would work too. So right now we're pretty much just scouting. Well, we found the pond. It's this thing right here. This is crazy. This literally was a cornfield last year and now it's just a marsh. We literally have our own personal marsh now for hunting. Could not be a better situation for, for waterfowl. For planting crops and making money, being a farmer, not so good. Being a duck hunter, pretty freaking good. Went Bro, down. that's a good sign. Yeah, it just went down right over there. We just scared a tulip. Do you think it was probably a blue wing, eh? Yeah, it, was a blue yeah, wing. it looked like a blue wing. It's just sitting right here. This is a nice little marsh. This, ton of bull. this is a really nice marsh right here. We are on our way to the other side. This is a nice little deal, and there was a teal here. There's a lot of deer tracks. Look at them all. There's one, two, yeah. three, four, five, six. All this. Yep. Might have found the deer spot, boys. Oh, I'm so excited for duck season. How horny are you for duck season right now? Very. I'm popping a Perfect. chub. Sheesh, guy. We gotta take it that far, man. We're like, we're here and you took it up to here, man. Dude, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Deer, ducks. Then trap season comes. Then trapping. Like, this, this fall, it's gonna be like unlimited content at the farm. It's gonna be good. Content this fall. It's about to be good. Anyways, that's pretty much all the time we have for today's little adventure at the farm. We are gonna head back and uh, hopefully go pick up the new farm puppy. Before we do that, I say we go fish the bakery for like 10 minutes, okay. maybe 15 minutes. Uh, I do have some rods in the back of my truck and on the way home is the brew baker. So I think we're gonna go up there, try to cast a line, check on the weeds. Kai Dog said he did some manicuring while I was in Africa. Like he trimmed it all down and made it look really good. So I gotta go check that out and see, see kind of all what he did. And then uh, and maybe try to catch a bass real quick. And then we're gonna head back home probably shower, change, grab Macy, and then go get the new puppy. You guys stay tuned. Woo. All right, folks, here we are at the Brewer Bakery, and Kyle was right. Look at this. Look at the pond. It don't even look the same. Oh, this was super tall grass. Remember this? This is down by the boat ramp where we go down all the time, and this was all super, super tall grass. You couldn't even bank fish. Kyle came down here with the freaking shredder, with the tractor and everything else, and just cleaned it all up for us. We could actually bank fish. We want to kind of test it out and see, are there any bass in here? Did any of the bass we put in survive? And any of them, are, are any of them going to eat any of the bait? What are you boys dangling with today, eh? Rattling Ned. Ooh, the old rattling. The old rattling Ned. How about you? I'm filming. Oh, you're camera guy? Yeah, there's, there's no GoPro. No one brought a GoPro, so I'm the GoPro. Yeah, I forgot to bring the chest mount, so Bonzo's going to be got, the chest you mount. You got two good options. Oh, though. what's the I option? 
Frog and Bandito. Ooh. I'm, I'm feeling the Cheeto. Yeah, yeah Cheeto Bandito, Cheeto. baby. Yep. That's going to be it. We have yet to catch a fish at the Brew Bakery, a bass at the Brew Bakery. We've caught some green sound fish and some big bluegills that we stocked in here, but we've stocked, what, 26? Things are count up to? Yeah. We stocked 26 largemouth, anywhere between 12 and 16 inches. We've yet to catch them. So today, we're going to see if we can snag one real quick before we got to head back home. You guys stay tuned. Oof, right off the point. That was a good cast. Oof. That was a bass. Yeah. I just saw a bass bust right there. Slamming, you killing the game or what? No. Okay. I feel like I'm just pretty buns at fishing at this point now. How do you not get one? I mean, I guess 26 bass ain't very many. We're good. For like a five acre pond, I feel like that's not very many. I feel like people probably put like 100 per acre. So they should have like 500 and it's got 26. But I don't want to re I don't want to keep stocking it in the summer because they the fish will probably die. So we got to wait till the fall to stock some bigger bass in it. But slamming, we're cheeks. We? On a good note, I'm buying a puppy today, so Ooh. I guess let's just go do that. Hola. Hello. All right, folks. So I kind of I kind of messed up just a little bit. I'm at the bird's nest. I kind of messed up a little bit. I forgot to plug the mic in when I picked the new dog up. You can hear her whining. You're about to see her in a second. I didn't have the mic plugged in. So the whole, my, my initial reaction is gone. Unless I put dope beats behind it, but that's not as cool. So what I did after I realized that I said, okay, well, I'll br we still have two more cool activities for this video. Bring her to the bird's nest and bring her to see Finn for the very first time. That's oh my goodness. The new farm puppy. Aww. Look at her. Mini rigs. The mini rigs. So cute. Aww. Here she is, guys. Oh, she's a fan of Bonds, Daddy. Look at her. She's so Aww. cute. I need your guys' help, though. You guys need to drop a comment down below. What should we name her? We need, like, dope farm dog names. It's a girl. She's a mountain dog, a Swiss mountain dog. And uh, we need a cool name. So drop a comment down below. Give me some name ideas. And hopefully in the next video featuring the new puppy, I will... I will tell you, I will announce her name to all of you guys, but I need your guys' help, so comment down below. Oh, wow, she likes you already. Oh, yep, yep, yeah, she's a puppy. She's yep, vicious. she's, um, she's a puppy, all right, look at her. Wow, look at her just chilling. She's, totally. gonna get, she's gonna get big, isn't she? Yeah, she's gonna get big. The other thing about this dog, again, it sucks, because I already, I already filmed all this for you guys. I just forgot to plug the mic in. Um, but a little backstory, again, she's a greater Swiss mountain dog. She's gonna get over 100 pounds. She's gonna be massive. And again, the whole idea is to breed her with the existing farm dog rigs and then have puppies. So if you guys want some farm puppies, you're probably gonna have to wait like two years, uh, but they'll be coming at some point. Wonder what, you, wonder what Finn's gonna think of you, huh? He's probably gonna be pissed. You're about as big as Finn and you're only nine weeks. She is only nine weeks old and she's already this big. Like, look how big her freaking paws are. These things are absolutely massive. I'm digging the mohawk. She does have a little mohawk, doesn't she? Look at that yeah. thing. Well, I think she approves of the bird's nest so far. She hasn't peed yet. She peed in my truck on the drive there, so that's always nice. She just really likes licking your fingers for some reason. Yeah. You been touching peanut butter or something? What have you been, what have you been playing with? What's going to be insane is literally probably every video that you guys see with her, unless I put her in every single video, which I don't really plan on as of now, is each time you guys see her, she's going to look way bigger than she did in the previous video. I mean, she's going to grow so freaking fast. All right, let's see what she thinks of the bird's nest backyard. All right, puppy, go do your thing. Come on. Oh, she's Good peeing pop. outside. Good pop. Oh, she came potty trained. Yeah. Look how smart she is. Except I, she peed in my truck too, so I guess she's not really potty trained, but hey, she figured it out pretty quick. Hey, don't fall in that sewer. Don't die. Hey, get over here. Hey. Did I not mention being in this video? I'm not responsible. This is what I'm talking about. She would fall there into that and just freaking die. We can't. Oh, where are you going? Back, walk. You stop that. You go this way. You go this way. Go get Bonds, Daddy. Go get Bonzo. Hey, this is not your garden. This is not Bonzo's garden. I don't know whose garden this is, but... What's up, bub? What you doing? Huh? You like the bird's nest? You like the bird's nest? Now is the final test. Does she approve of Finn? And does Finn approve of her? Let's go to my house. All right, folks. This is the moment of truth. You're about to be introduced to Finn, okay? He's vicious. He's giant. He's pretty mean, so you got to be careful. Finn, who's that? Who's that, Finn? Is that a pup? Oh, is that the puppy? Is that the new puppy? What's going on, buddy? Who's that, Finn? Who's that? 
Hey, that's your new sister. Well, kinda. You gotta be nice to your new sister, okay? She's gonna be a lot bigger than you someday, so just be careful what you do. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, you play nice, Finn. She's gonna beat you up one day, okay? Hey, she's small now, but not forever. Uh-oh, Finn, she just took your duck. Oh, oh, they're fighting over the duck. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Oh, 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 she came back. Finn, Finn, you gotta be nice. Hey, you gotta be nice. Let her have your duck. She's okay. She's doing fine. Look at her. She's fine. Well, maybe she will be a good duck hunting dog. She picked the duck. Out of all the toys and the bones laying around, she picked the duck, so that's a good sign. Finn, you gotta learn to share, okay? You're not an only child anymore. You have to learn to share. I know it's tough. Hey, would you calm down? <laughs> I know it's tough. Come on, girl. Come on. Oh, there you go. Yep. Hey, this is your new backyard. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the new puppy. Everybody loves puppies. Hope you guys enjoy the new puppy. Remember, you need to name her. Comment down below your favorite name for a big, beastly, cute farm dog. That's the names that I'm after. I don't know if that makes any sense or if that's a way to describe names. But anyways, you guys comment down below what you guys think I should name her. I'll pick my favorite one, and that'll be the name of the new puppy. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section down below. And also comment some other things like, I don't know. What we should do with the dog? Should we take her fishing? Should we take her hunting? What should we do? Should she just be a chill dog? Should she should, should she be an inside dog? Should she be an outside dog? I don't really know. All I know is I got this dog to take with me down to the farm pretty much every day once she gets a little bit bigger to just hang out with Riggs and breed with Riggs and then they'll be puppies eventually. That's how science works or something like that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Really do appreciate you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.